Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here then hello, um, my name is Lily and today's video is going to be a Zara haul. Um, as always they are absolutely killing it with their spring collection and I have picked up quite a few new pieces over the past month or so. Um, there's quite a few summery pieces in this haul which is getting me very excited. Um, lockdown has just started to ease here in the UK uh, and I'm just looking outside my window and it's a bright blue skies and um, it's also the bank holiday and I am in a very good mood so yeah we will just get into the haul and um, this time I'm gonna film it slightly differently just to see um, how it goes I thought I'd do it um, with me wearing the pieces rather than holding them up and then doing the cutaways separately so you'll have to let me know which style you prefer I just thought it'd be a bit more casual this way and I can like talk you through um, how I'm styling the pieces and the sizing um, and all that good stuff but yeah before we start if you um, did enjoy this video I would absolutely love it if you would like um, and subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram if you don't already my handle is Lily Isabella Clark um, and I've already styled up quite a few of these pieces over there already but I will be styling the rest up there as well so yeah um let's get into the haul okay so I forgot I was actually meant to talk you through what I'm wearing because these pieces are from Zara and um, so the first piece I picked up is this grey like ribbed long sleeve top it's got this really really pretty pearl button detailing on both sides and I've worn this so much already. I just think it is a really great um, casual throw on piece. It looks really nice with blue denim and also with white denim. Um, and yeah, it was 19.99 I think. So a really good price and just a great one to have in the wardrobe for those casual days. Um, and I just think, yeah, it'll see me through to the summer. And then I also wanted to show you these um, jeans, which aren't a recent purchase. I've had these quite a while actually but I'm pretty sure they still do the exact same um, ones online so I just wanted to give a shout out to them because they're probably one of my um, favorite pairs of jeans they are a straight leg in a really like light blue wash denim if I just come back and um, you can see they have a raw hem as well and um, now I'm only five foot two so I did have to chop the bottom of these off as otherwise they were too long for me and um, but I don't really mind doing that anyway I probably do that with like 90% of my jeans um, but yeah I just think they are such a nice wash and um, perfect for summer and also really comfortable because um, of them being that straight leg style and um, probably my favorite denim style personally and then the last components of the outfit are these um, loafers they are like a cool toned ecru color with the gold hardware and I absolutely love the shape of the toe on these I would say they're kind of like a combination of of a square, a pointed and a round toe um, but not overly swaying in any direction so I just love 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 the shape of them um, they are leather and they were £49.99 um, and I got these because I have been on the hunt for you know I'm just gonna put them down <laughs> I've been on the hunt for a cream Gucci loafer dupe for the longest time and these are just absolutely perfect um, and obviously a fraction of the cost and um, they were 49.99 and as I say they are real leather and um, they are also super comfortable I have worn them a fair few times now um, and the leather is just like so soft and supple I've worn them to walk into town and back and had no issues with blisters or any rubbing or anything like that so yeah I would definitely recommend them um, and they are true to size I just went with my usual size which is a UK K3 um, and yeah they fit perfectly and I absolutely love them. Okay so I've moved the camera because I realised you couldn't actually see the full outfit before um, so hopefully this is a bit better um, but the next piece is this absolutely gorgeous cream midi skirt. It's got this um, like asymmetric button detail up the front and then it goes down into a midi length and it has a slit up the centre and also um, up the centre at the back as well and I just think it is absolutely so 
stunning. Um, this is a linen blend and it was $29.99, so again, a really good price, especially for a linen blend, and it is just beautiful quality. I think this will be perfect for a holiday. Um, obviously, we don't know if we're going to be able to go away this year, um, but likewise, I think it would be beautiful in the UK as well. Um, I'd definitely wear this more dressed up with a pair of heels as I just think it's quite a, a dressy skirt as it is. Um, right now I've got it on with a little like racer ribbed knit top from Pretty Lavish. This is such a perfect little basic and I think the colour pairs really nicely with the skirt. Um, so yeah, this is just absolutely amazing. I feel like this will be one which will sell out pretty quickly so I wouldn't wait around if you do want to get your hands on it. Um, I'm wearing an extra small and it actually fits pretty well. Quite often I find with Zara skirts that they are big around the waist but this one is actually pretty much perfect so I'd say it is true to size um, and it's also not see-through at all which is obviously brilliant so yeah um, I definitely definitely recommend this skirt so the next outfit is something a bit different for me but I just thought it was absolutely adorable so it is this little lemon yellow cord um, it's got a mini skirt and then obviously a crop top um, they button up both of them all the way up the front um, the buttons on the skirt are like faux, well not faux buttons but it doesn't actually button up there's a zip at the side to get into it um, but the top you do put on by um, doing up the buttons but this just gives me such like 60s vibes um, I thought it was quite fun and I can't wait to wear it for like day drinks or like bottomless brunch or something like that um, I just think it is so so cute and I just couldn't resist really I do also think that this this top would look really nice um, worn separately with maybe a pair of like blue denim mum jeans um, and you could also wear the skirt as well like maybe with a white linen shirt tucked in. I feel like a lot of people avoid wearing yellow um, but I personally love it um, and obviously pastel are going to be huge for spring and summer this year so I had to pick this up. Um, I went for an extra small in both pieces. I would say size down in the skirt if you're in between because I've got it pinned at the back it's a little bit big um, but nothing crazy and then in the top I would say if you do have bigger boobs I'd probably size up um, I don't so I just went true to size but um, if you do you might want to size up because I'd say I could have got away with the small myself um, so yeah I absolutely love it again and I just think it is really fun for summer so the next piece is again an absolute favourite of mine. Um, this could be one of my favourite dresses in my whole wardrobe. Um, so it's this black satin midi dress. It's got a really really flattering um, racer style neckline um, and it just like it's quite figure hugging um, but not too clingy and it goes down into um, well on me it's kind of almost at ankle length. You obviously can't see the bottom but it like flows out slightly. I will insert a picture um, of me wearing it um, to the side because I've already posted this one on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I just think it's such a timeless, timeless piece. Um, so, so flattering. And I know I will get so much wear out of this um, for like years to come, basically. Um, I also think it looks really nice belted. Um, I wore it with a big chunky gold belt, which I also have from Zara. I'm pretty sure that's sold out now, but if it isn't, I I will leave it linked down below. Um, I did check before and I think this dress has also sold out um, but hopefully they will restock it and otherwise I saw that they had a really really similar um, satin black midi dress and um, it's just got a slightly different neckline but equally beautiful so I will link that one down below but if you do manage to get your hands on this one um, it is true to size I went for an extra small um, and it was $29.99 I think so again a really good price for an absolutely timeless um, dress. So next up is a skirt 
shirt I'm sure you will have seen all over Instagram by now um, but with good reason as it is gorgeous um, so it's this beige midi skirt it's got this like ruching detail which comes across um, which I find really flattering and then it goes down again into a midi length with a slit up one side it is very much Jacquemus vibes um, and it actually also comes with a matching cropped shirt um, but I didn't end up getting that because the shirt was like £50 whereas the skirt was £30 and I just thought you can wear the skirt with so many other things anyway I didn't really need the shirt too so yeah the little crop top is also Zara um, but to be honest it's kind of impractical and I don't know why I kept this um, I thought it was really cute and I do really like it like it's a nice shape and a nice idea in theory but it's kind of restrictive and um, it's got like a layer underneath so you're not gonna like flash your bra or anything but you couldn't like lift your arms up without it like rolling up um but yeah i just thought it was cute so i bought it and yeah i didn't really think through how practical it was going to be but the top was 15 pounds i think um, and i got an extra small and um, maybe if i'd sized up to a small it might have been a little bit better but oh well okay so next we have another full zara outfit and again both of these pieces are a linen blend and um, I think it's pretty obvious what my favorite fabric for summer is um, but yeah it is this little cropped shirt which ties in the middle obviously you can't wear a bra with this um, but I don't think you're likely to flash I've just got like nipple covers on with this you could just um, secure it down with a bit of boob tape um, if you are worried about flashing um, so yeah this is really really sweet and again Again, very Jacquemus vibes. They also have a really similar shirt which is again short sleeved um, but it like ties around the middle. Um, I just went for this one because uh, I thought the sleeves on the other one kind of came out a little bit boxy um, but yeah that one was really cute as well so I will leave it linked down below. Um, and then to go with the shirt I picked up these beige linen blend wide leg trousers. Um, I really like these. They don't have any belt loops at the top. Um, but yeah, they're nice and high-waisted. They've got pockets. And they are really good quality too. Um, I probably didn't need another pair of wide leg trousers because I've got a pretty extensive collection as it is. But I just thought these were great because they are a really lightweight fabric for summer or for taking on holiday. They are really long though, um, as I said I am 5 foot 2 and these are too long for me even with heels so I will just like take them up with a bit of wonder web. But yeah that is something to bear in mind if you are a petite as well. Um, as well as that they do come out quite wide so if you do prefer your wide leg trousers to fit a little bit slimmer um, you might want to stay away from these because they are quite wide. But I still really like them and um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I am a huge fan of wide leg trousers and um, I just find them so flattering and I think they really elongate the leg because obviously you often wear them with heels um, and with them coming down to the floor it just gives you a few extra inches of length which I am always here for. So I also picked up a stripy shirt and um, this is in a satin fabric and it is a beige um, white and then I think it's black stripe although it could be navy um, but either way it is really pretty um, and also super oversized I got an extra small and it is huge it comes down to about um, mid thigh so I would probably recommend sizing down in this um, as I just don't think it's necessary for it to be that big um, but yeah this is a great one as a workwear outfit I've just got it on with a pair of um, cream cigarette trousers from H&M and um, these are old but Zara have a really similar pair at the minute so I'll link those down below um, but yeah I got this with YouTube in mind really um, because I don't have many like nice shirts to wear because um, obviously you can usually only see the top half of my body so I picked this one up with that in mind there isn't really much else to say about this one and um, I just think it's really chic and looks quite expensive and it was only about um, £30 so yeah I thought that was pretty good 
Okay, so last but certainly not least is the Skirt of Dreams. Um, it is this blue satin midi skirt with ruching detail at the front and a slit up the center. Um, I just think this is amazing. It gives me all the holiday vibes. It just like screams Greece to me, this one. If I ever get to go to Greece, which is definitely on my list, um, I will 100% be taking this with me. Um, it's such a classic, timeless piece, and it just looks so nice with a white linen shirt. Um, and I absolutely love the colour too. It is just the most perfect shade of blue. Um, the only thing is with this is that it is huge. Um, definitely size down in this. I have it pinned at the back. Um, I got an extra small, but I will be um, taking it in. Luckily, I have a sewing machine, and obviously, it's a good few months before I'll actually get to wear this, um, so I've got some time to alter it. But yeah, I couldn't send it back. It is just stunning. Um, again, unfortunately, I think this one has sold out in most sizes, but I did see that they have brought out an identical one in the same colour, but just a slightly different fabric. So yeah, I will leave that link down below. But yeah, that is everything I had to show you for today's Zara haul. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video and do let me know what your favourite pieces are. And also, if you've got any ideas for other videos you'd like me to film, then just let me know. Thank you so much again for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.